guys what is up so we're back to the second half of this video um i'm not sure if the date and time will show in this video at this part but uh it's been a couple days since i finished it i just i'm finishing it today i just haven't had the time um so i just finished putting in the uh the new evp for adding our new map to the server um we're about to run it And then once it gets online, we're going to open up a client and we're going to check out the new map. All right, server tick, so we're online. So we're going to open up a client. And once we get logged in, I'll, we'll check it out. All right, one thing before we get uh, logged in, I just remember something that I did off camera. Um, so when you enter a new map, you know how in your mini map it'll say the name of whatever area you're at. So there's a file that actually uh, de determines the name that shows up there. So you go to message table in your local Melee GB or local Mars, and every map has a set of uh, lines that you add. So like for instance, these these little sub areas are like so when we open a lunar cave, you'll see. It's a, it's a huge map. Um, there's several parts in it, but because we have them all labeled as Lunar Cave, the name of the map won't change wherever we go. But like if we change, I don't, I'm not exactly sure which one of these is, is a, what, what part of the map that these refer to. But I mean, you could, if you would have this map, you could change the name up and see how it affects it. But that's like um, when people are in PLC and this say Pirate Lair the whole time, no matter what boss they're at, because every little uh, specific map zone is labeled as Pirate Lair. And then there is uh, two lines for the teleport, or there's a line, uh, each line would go for the teleportation. Um, like, like when, if you click, the, like, well, like I'll show you right now, when we log in and we go to enter, enter the map, it'll give a, a description of like the teleport. So like, for instance, when we go to enter Lunar Cave, Teleport's gonna say enter Lunar Cave because that's what we wrote here. And then there's one for the actual cave so that when you enter it, it says like enter Lunar Cave or whatever. If I remember my password. There we go. But that's something that you wanna make sure you add. Otherwise, if you don't have uh, this edited in your new map, it's just gonna say unknown characters the whole time. So like how I say Stone City right now, Oh, I guess I didn't update it in the client. But this is right here, the traffic station SFV020 is what I originally had in the first column, in the first column here. But I don't I don't I didn't update it in the client, I guess. This is what I had originally uh, right here, but I changed it to exit and enter, but I forgot to I guess I forgot to edit it in the client. But so we enter and then boom, here's our new map. I don't have a mount. So uh, I'm gonna be walking, but I mean, let me add a map quick. List item a percent. Add item six one one ten one plus ten. So slow as fuck. What two ten? One hundred forty five percent. Holy shit! It's slow ass map. But yeah, this is the map. Um, this is the first new map I had in my server. I like that. It. It's really big. You'll see. So when you enter through this main corridor, right from the start, it splits off into three areas. Now each of these, this this left area, this uh, I call it the blue area, indicated by the lights. I don't have the 3D zoom around him. Um, this blue area it ends, but the green and red keep going on, and they all interconnect until like the other side of the map, and then it's almost like mirrored. Like there's almost a a, a when when they all enter when they all go to some intersection and you go down another corridor like how we did when we left the start, 
it goes into another part of the map that kind of looks like the star. So it kind of looks like the same on both sides, but because we don't have a mini map, I don't know why it's lagging. Because there is no mini map set up for this for this map, like from the server. Oh shit! Whoa, whoa, whoa! What the fuck? There was never a mini map in my server. What the fuck? Ah, I think it's because I didn't have the map zone in my server. Holy shit. Well, so this is like how I said, oh, so this isn't even the start. This is the start. Holy shit. I didn't know there was a map to this. I guess I, dang, well, you learn something every day. So I missed something in my server. And that's why it says table map zone. So that table map zone is what I would put here in the language field in this first column. And then what I would probably change it to like Lunar Cave in for this column. Holy shit. So this is where we spawned at. But it looks different than the map because it's split off into three areas. I mean, I guess this would be blue. Because we're on green right now. Can I, can I auto click? No, I can't auto click. Holy shit. Because I've, I've been through this whole map. But, I mean, you could set up auto-click. That's in a whole other file. You got it in the UI file and the UI world map file. I don't know why it's lagging so bad. I don't know why it's lagging so bad. It's probably got, I got a couple things open. Okay, never mind. No, I thought, I thought this was the start. Okay, that makes more sense now. So, yeah, this is the start. And, oh, I guess all three do connect. So, as I just said, this is the start, and they split off into three areas, like red, green, blue. And then they all come to an intersection. And then it comes to another area that kind of looks like the start. Um, in my map on my server, this was a spawn. And then I had mobs in all three of these areas. And then at the end of here, I had uh, two world bosses that would spawn. Holy shit, though. I'm like really, I'm kind of burnt. I didn't have a mini map. I guess. Wow. Which is weird, though, because I copied these files from my server. So I wonder why there wasn't a mini map in my server since I'm using the same files for them. That's so fucking weird. Pretty dope though. So like, like if we move over here, I don't, I really don't know why it's lagging. I'm that's pretty dope. It's like, let's start again. That's cool, bro. But yeah, so this is this is uh, this is how you make a map. The only thing that you would change for a totally for a different map. Let me log out real quick. The only actual things that you would change, obviously you're copying different files into the common table folder, like this, like the areas, the reborns and all that. But the only other thing that you would change is um, is when you enter a server game and you enter the scene load. One thing I did do at the start of this uh, video, which is uh, something I noticed I got an error for, it, is I put Lunar SFB027. The name that you put in here to load the actual scene must match the name in your scenes file, which I didn't just because I didn't think about it. I just kind of was just going through it. So it says Lunar here. So you have to make sure that Lunar is in the load, load whatever your scene is. I'm at the start of this video, you'll see that I, or when I was going through this part originally, that it says SFB027. And if you've seen in my server, right before I try to load it, I got an error. Uh, we'll see if it will show still. I got an error here, right here. Oh, no, let's go up a little bit. Got an error here, right here. Scene SF0B27 game server scene and it failed. Pretty much saying that it couldn't load this uh, this scene, but that's because I had that in here, but this scene didn't exist. The SFB027 scene didn't exist because in my scenes file, I had it labeled as lunar, not SFB027. So if you ever get this error, it's most likely because one, you didn't put the scene uh, line in here or something doesn't match up in your scenes.csv file. Um, but yeah, so that's it. It's really easy to make a map if you have the files, you wanna make sure that they're all decrypted or that they are encrypted. If any one file is uh, encrypted, it won't, it won't load, you'll get an error. Um, so yeah, it's pretty easy. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, Stay tuned.